dear students let us learn about photochemical reaction mechanisms we know that according to einstein's law of photochemical equivalence every reacting molecule absorbs one quantum of light radiation and clearly the number of reacting molecules should be equal to 1 to the number of quanta absorbed but it is not fully true and in many cases it has been observed that a small amount of light absorbed can bring about large amount of chemical reaction and large amount of light absorbed bring about only a small amount of chemical reaction so this anomalous behavior is explained by the presence of primary and secondary process so we have seen the primary and secondary process in the previous a video that is quantum yield let us learn the photochemical combination of h2 and cl2 this reaction is the example of high quantum yield reaction when a mixture of hydrogen and chlorine is exposed to visible or ultraviolet light of wavelength less than 4800 angstrom units a fast reaction takes place resulting in the formation of hydrogen chloride so this is the chemical equation of formation of hydrogen chloride this reaction gives the quantum yield of 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 6 this reaction is the example of high quantum yield the extremely high quantum yield can be explained by the chain mechanism these are the steps involved in the chain mechanism chain initiation chain propagation and chain termination chain initiation comes under primary process whereas chain propagation and chain termination comes under secondary process we know that in primary process one molecule absorbs one quantum of light radiation to give activated molecule here in the formation of hydrogen chloride the chlorine molecule absorbs one quantum of light and dissociates to give two chlorine atoms this is chain initiation in secondary process the chlorine atom that is formed in the primary process reacts with the hydrogen gas to form hydrogen chloride and hydrogen atom and in the third step hydrogen atom which is formed in the second step reacts with the chlorine molecule gives hydrogen chloride and chlorine atom these two steps that is step 2 and step 3 gets repeated giving rise to chain reaction the reaction stops when the chlorine atoms left off combine with each other to form chlorine molecule the primary process in h2 and cl2 reaction is called chain initiation step second and third reactions are called chain propagation steps reaction 4 is called chain termination step the reason for high quantum yield of this reaction is steps 2 and 3 are repeated for large number of times before the chain termination now let us try to understand the photochemical combination of h2br2 or formation of hydrogen bromide when a mixture of hydrogen and bromine is exposed to the radiations having wavelength between 4000 to 5 5000 angstroms they combine to form hydrobromic acid the quantum yield of this reaction is really low that is 0.01 the low quantum yield of this reaction may be explained by the following mechanism even though the two reactions that is a formation of a hydrogen chloride and formation of hydrogen bromide both looks similar but their mechanisms are different formation of hcl follows chain mechanism and formation of hbr does not follow the chain mechanism in this reaction that is formation of hbr in primary process one bromine molecule absorbs one quantum of light radiation 
and gives two bromine atoms. Then in the secondary process, four different steps are possible. So let us see one after the other. In the second step, formed bromine atom reacts with a hydrogen molecule and gives HBr and hydrogen atom. In the third step, hydrogen atom that is formed here reacts with bromine molecule and forms second HBr product and bromine atom. Up to here, the mechanism is same, but the reason for low quantum yield of hydrogen bromide a lies in this step that is fourth step the hydrogen plus hbr gives rise to h2 plus pr2 if you closely observe this reaction fourth reaction it is the opposite of the second step okay so here you observe the statements that i have given here the bromine atoms formed in the primary step one attack hydrogen molecule, yield hydrogen bromide and hydrogen atom. The hydrogen atom then attacks bromine forming another molecule of hydrogen bromide and hydrogen atom. So this is step two and this is step three. Up to here it is very clear. As a result of the reactions two and three, should repeat over and again that is a chain reaction should set up so what we expect so the these two reactions step two and step three as these two reactions are very much similar to the previous hydrogen chloride reaction so we may expect that these two reactions repeat over and uh, over to give chain reaction but here the chain reaction is not at all possible and the quantum yield is not high it is very low the reason for this is step 2 is highly endothermic that means that light energy absorbed by the bromine molecule is not at all sufficient to proceed further it even requires some uh, heat energy so this step is therefore very slow at ordinary temperatures because the step 3 is dependent on the step 2 it is also very slow but if you observe the step 4 here the step 4 is opposite to that of step 2 so step 4 which is the reverse of step 2 becomes increasingly important and the rate of formation of hbr decreases Step 5 is only important secondary process in which again the bromine atoms are combining to give bromine molecule. That means it is just a reversal of primary process. Hence the quantum yield of this reaction is very very low at ordinary temperatures. To increase the quantum yield of this reaction it sh uh, we should increase the temperature of the reaction the increase in temperature provides required energy of activation so that the reaction gets completed 